Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the watch list video for Thursday, August 11th. The SPY gapped up. I think in the pre market, the CPI numbers came out, and I think they were less bad than expected, if I'm wording that correctly. Um, I think I even heard Joe Biden from a podium today say that uh, there's zero inflation or something. Where, where does he go? So, problem solved. So, congratulations to all of us. I guess that means gas back down to 179. And we're back in utopia. I mean, argue with me. Give me one reason why he's not the best president this country's ever had. But I won't go into that right now. Let's talk about the uh, the market. So the spy gapped up and held his gains pretty well. Um, a couple nice posts in chat today. BCAB was really, really strong. Hats off to Kevin P, by the way, for pointing out pointing this out early and saying, hey, let's put this on a chart. And then he pointed out this volume spike. Anyone in the room could have tokyo it here before it broke the high of day. Um, I gave the second mouse through 650 idea, but I sort of presented it as a question like, hey, anybody like this? And then Wayne validated it and said yes. So that makes all of us feel better when Wayne says he likes it. So the second mouse through 650. Um, within, I don't know, seven minutes, it went to 734. Um, so that was kind of a neat little thing. Um, Kevin M gave us phase through 20 early on in the day. Five minute candles. Um, topped out here, went a little bit over 20, came back down. And so he was calling the second mouse with the high of day above and yesterday's high above that, which in 10 minutes gives you like, uh, I don't know, two or yeah, $2, $2 move maybe. Nice call by Kevin M. I gave everyone coin early back through it, sold off and then came back up through 90. Um, and it, the risk was about a dollar, which didn't stop out, but it ended up, uh, if you held and, and honored the stop, it went fairly quickly to uh, 94.77. So a uh, $4.77 move there um, on less than a dollar, or about a dollar risk. Anyway, it rolled over later, but we don't care. That was uh, a neat little setup there too. So there's a couple highlights from chat. Some pullback plays called too, um, and things like NVTA. And so some nice stuff um, overall. I'm going to keep this short and sweet today, though, because I've got somewhere to be. Um, TTD. Oh, let me put this up real quick. Pause the video if you've never seen that before, and it explains what we do. I don't want anyone to think this is investment advice. Um, so you can pause the video and read that if you want. But anyway, TTT, big, TTD, big breakout today. We'll see if it gives a setup tomorrow. HLBZ, a recent high flyer um, on watch. NVTA, just a monster today. Um, certainly extended, but we're going to watch it, you know, the rest of the week, probably for about a week straight. ALLG, pretty strong move, pretty strong close. BCAB, um, talked about that one already, big breakout. Uh, AMC and Bed Bath & Beyond, let me fix my note there. AMC um, goes on bounce, but I sold off today and ended up going out near the highs. Recent high flyer, um, possible short covering um, continuing. And the same with Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, both of those have very similar charts and a lot of shorts. Um, CVNA is Carvana, which had a nice two-day run here. Gap down, and next thing you know, it's kind of right back up. Um, maybe back through 48 tomorrow, knowing that tomorrow's high, knowing that today's high, excuse me, was 48.09. And then the most recent high, not that far away at 50.77. A lot of shorts in the name. MEGL, how is that for a bizarre chart? Um, quite a narrow range, though, compared to its other three days of trading. Crazy stock, but anyway, maybe back through 14 tomorrow with uh, today's high being 1420. Worth keeping on a chart. A lot of traders watching that one. Um, AMTD just goes back on bounce watch. Uh, you know, it didn't deserve to be up near 13, but um, it's certainly setting up for a potential snapback bounce. Um, well, that reminds me. Uh, GOVX, potential bounce play. When I said that, that reminds me, I was thinking of QNRX. Um, Wayne pointed out the volume in this one today, and it absolutely ripped. I think he pointed it out around five bucks, and it ripped to six forty. Um, so maybe there's some potential there, but that went out near the lows. Um, but the reason I said that reminds me is because it kind of reminds me of kind of a weird chart where there's a lot of bag holders, just like that uh, MEGL, uh, which I've affectionately named Schmeagel. Um, anyway, so AMTD goes on bounce watch. GOVX talked about that one. Um, and I think I covered AMC and Bed Bath & Beyond. So that's it. Not a very big list. Um, we'll add gappers to the list in the pre-market as well. And I'm done babbling. We'll see you guys tomorrow.